Hello everyone. Welcome. I found these printables on Facebook and for the life of me I can't remember if I got it off of TLC printables or junk journal tutorials. One or the other. <laughs> but I loved this these printables and I'm like, oh, they're so pretty. I just want to use them. So if you're the person who put this on Facebook, thank you for the freebie. And I wanted to show off these. Please comment your store or whatnot. But here we go. Again, I found this in Facebook and I just loved it. thought it was absolutely gorgeous, these printables. And I'm like... Woohoo! They're like a vintage women. And I used my uh, Amazon antique papers that I had to print them on because I thought that would make it even more gorgeous. So that's what I decided to print them on. And then the little pieces of ephemera. And I should have done this cardstock, but I wasn't thinking when I was doing it. I just wanted to do it. And because I just thought it was gorgeous. Again, just utterly gorgeous. So these are little ephemera pieces. And here's some tags. And a pocket. Oh, three pockets total here. And then some more ephemera here, which I might use that as the cover. And then some more tags here. I was thinking about something like this, but now I kind of like them. So I'm just going to throw them in my one area. <clears throat> Let's figure out our cover for this one. Because, again, I just... Wouldn't she be so pretty on this cover? And this was, somebody had started quilting and doing the things on them and never finished. So I decided I was going to just stick it on some old envelope. And I actually left this part open. So it's an envelope with a back to it. Because I think this should be the front. So I'm going to cut her out first. Now where are my scissors? Oh no. I lost my big scissors somewhere. Oops. Well I have these cruddy scissors but they'll have to work. I don't normally do a lot of red journals, which may sound surprising, but I just don't. It ain't that I don't want to, it's, I just don't get a lot of reds. So, and I didn't really want to do Valentine's, this when it was Valentine's Day, I just thought, no. <clears throat> So I really like them, um, or her. I'm just thinking if there's anything else in here that might go well with her. Like maybe one of these. I'm just gonna cut these across here. Okay. That and then maybe a journal label or something might do good. Okay. 
yeah, one of my journal labels here would be awesome with it. So I'm going to do that. And there's a lot of these little holes because I made it into a ticket. <laughs> so what I do is I just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Try to keep that kind of ticket design-ish thing, but not always the best at it. <laughs> so if we do that, no, I like her on top. Try to keep her in the middle. That, ooh, I kind of like that look. All right, I'm just wondering, would that look good with some lace maybe behind it? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm just gonna add a little bit of lace to it. This has been a project that I've been kind of like sitting on. <laughs> I've had it sitting and sitting and sitting and it just, I never ended up doing it. <laughs> so. I've decided I'm just going to use it. Do what I'm going to do with it. And I really like my fabric journals right now. I think it's because of it doesn't have that alligator look. <laughs> You can add more and more and more to it, and it isn't going to look like a full-blown alligator. And I've had a lot of artists say that it's okay to have an alligator look. It's okay. Well, I've learned when I go to sell it, though, the alligator look does not work. I forgot to glue this down first, so... Not a lot of people want to buy something that already has the alligator look, so. I've decided I no longer want to make as many journals with the alligator look to it. But I think that looks like a very pleasant cover. Because I don't know what my closure is going to be yet. So I might end up punching a hole through here. I may not. I don't know. And I know I'm going to use these papers here if I can. All right. But I, again, I haven't figured this all out yet. So I guess I'm basically showing you what I'm planning on doing. Just, again, not there yet. Um, I have to pull my papers. And right now my papers are very hard to reach. So I'm not going to do that on camera. 
if I would have prepared a little better, I would, but I know I can't. So I think we're just gonna cut out some of these pieces and go from there, hopefully. Get these cut out anyways, and again, we'll figure it out. Again, I probably should have done this on cardstock because using this is very difficult. To cut because you don't know where the lines are. So we got that one. But I was so like excited about this kit that I like completely flamboozled myself when it came down to making it or doing anything with it. And then again, I think this kit came out in December or January and I fell so in love with it right away and I'm like, oh, I need to use this kit. But then... <laughs> I leave it sick. And I have a lot of unfinished stuff. And I just, lately I've been, since I've been cleaning, I'm like, oh, I have this unfinished and that unfinished. And, you know, I haven't shown anybody what I have in my Etsy shop because I've been having Etsy issues. Because they only accept MasterCard now. Not Visa when it comes down to selling. And everything I had been doing was all Visa. So, I was dealing with that issue. So this is going to go back into my one area because I only use that for journal covers. I really should have wrote everything down when I saw this, though. I really should have. But I didn't. I wasn't really in the situation where I could either, so that didn't help. I was at someone's house, so. Visiting. I think my mom's. House or my grandmother or somebody. I was visiting somebody at the time, so didn't really have a chance to <coughs> do that. And I'm also going to be trying to figure out the graphics fairy, how that works. I'm hoping that will help with my photoshopping and stuff like that when it comes down to stuff like this. So my digitals will just get better from here.
I'm hoping this is all in screen. That would be very bad because I don't edit any of my stuff. I don't even look at my stuff. Honestly, I can't handle my voice. I do not like hearing my voice on recordings or anything else like that. So I do not edit anything based off of that. I think I made a fudge on a project. I just won't show the video. But I also do not listen to my videos. I know my daughter does on the weekends, watches my videos. So I try not to swear on here. And for respect of you, my followers, I just kindness caring, giving to others seems more logical to me than talking about that stuff. I'm hoping to show you to some of my daughter's projects one of these days when she's in a better mood. I really wanted to paint with her today and ended up not being able to because she was in a mood and I was, nope, I don't do fun things like that with her when she's in her moods. I've learned a long time ago, you never mess with her when she's in her moods. Yeah, today she was telling me how much she hated me. I felt so bad for her, but at the same time, I can't have her constantly telling me she hates me. So. My youngest seems to think my oldest does not need sleep, and I don't need any sleep. And their dad don't need any sleep. We all don't need sleep. We just need to talk day and night. <laughs> I wish I had her talking sometimes, because <laughs> that little girl can talk. Anyone's ear off. And today it was, her big talk was, there were only girls on the bus today, no boys. That was a huge deal to her. How there were no girls on, or only girls on the bus. Because, you know, when you're five, that's all you think about is who's on the, on the bus and who isn't. I think I have some stuff up in my thing, tags and stuff that could be used with just a little decorating.
I think quite a bit of it's actually, yeah. I have a bunch of stuff that's not decorated, so that will work really well. Let's see here. <clears throat> I have lots and lots of pockets and stuff in here that I just never used. Belly band. That can go over there actually. And the padded stuff. But I don't really want that in there. want something that's that would be kind of cute to add stuff to actually and I knew I had some of these sorry that's my for sure stuff at this point I haven't really went through my initial look through so I knew about these few things and Again, I knew I have pocket there. I have pocket here. Yeah, I have several pockets to just fill. So, I remember making this. It's a waterfall envelope thingy. But I want to see if one of these would be pretty. One of these pieces would be really pretty right there. I just want to know which one I want to stick on it. Yeah. yeah, I kind of just want to do that. Stick one of these on here. The rest of them I don't mind keeping empty for writing space, but I just, I wanted to add a little red right here so that will work perfectly for this journal and I was just thinking these two might look cute too I really like that on there so I'm going to do that yeah a simplistic little thing and I want her there so <laughs> this lady would be beautiful on here and then I was thinking this, would this fit Ooh, yeah just barely but it would fit so I don't know who's driving through, but they're being kind of rude. And then I'll stick that piece in there. So, definitely just need to fill them up with some tags and stuff like that, which is fine. So we got a cover and a couple pocket type things ready to go which is the cover and then waterfall pocket and then some quadruple pockets which I think will look wonderful in this book very vintagey looking with some red distress ink so I'll have to start a little tray or something for these and what I'm working on with this. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day or night. Bye.